Okay, it's time to drill this thing. And I've gone in and I've cleaned out any trash or junk that's behind the bolster to uh, make sure that this will fit up tightly up against there, nice and flush. And what I did is I went in and I put a little bitty dot. It's going to be really hard to see and you really don't need to see it, but there's just a, a little black dot right there to line up where I want the ivory to be. I don't want it too far down or too far up. If I get it too far up and I get it to where it's like that, then I've got a lot of bolster protruding out. Okay, it's wide enough, but it's not thick enough right here in this ivory to uh, to cover that bolster. Okay, so we have this thing so accurate that I've got to get to where that black dot is lined up there with the, the top of the bolster. Okay, so now everything's fitting nice and flat. It all fits really well. I'm going to go in. I'm going to put my, my spacer on. And then I'm going to line that up to where I want it to go. Okay. Line up that black dot. There. Okay. So we've got it, that lined up. I'm going to squeeze it and push it forward up against the back of that bolster. Okay. Now I'm going to do the trick that we learned from the bolster class. I'm going to invert it on this uh, piece of angle iron, invert it and clamp it. Okay. I'm going to be using a really sharp number 52 bit on this. Okay. Go in and I'm going to double check. All right. Make sure that my, my dot is still lined up. I'm going to make sure that that's all the way forward. It's pushing up against that bolster so there isn't a gap where that, that spacer is. Okay, that's really important that that's sitting nice and flush up against that bolster. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start drilling this. Now you're not going to drive it all the way through in one shot. Okay, you're going to come in and just going to come in and, and hit it and then pull it out and clean off any swarf that you have down in your uh, in your drill bit okay you can use that you know the, your fingernail on these little bitty bits and just knock that out or you can get a like a, a wire brush or something you can you can hit it with a wire brush and that'll that'll clean it out okay but we don't want that thing getting clogged up with that mammoth ivory it gets kind of tarry and nasty and sticky whenever you're drilling it and uh, you don't want that, that to get clogged up because it's going to cause a blowout on the other side. It might crack your ivory or knock a big chunk out of the back, okay? So we're just going to take it easy and uh, have it on, on fast, but I'm not going to force it down really, really hard, okay? Obviously, you're not going to use your thumbnail on a, a big F bit or something drilling the lanyard hole, okay? Just to clarify that. Hey, this is Paul Lusk from KnifeMakingVideos.com. I hope you like this little lesson. And if you want to learn how to make professional grade magazine quality knives and learn how to make money doing it, please visit KnifeMakingVideos.com and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.